Let's move fast in 2024. Whether you've been with us all year or just catching up now, let's race through everything that made this year send out. Early in 2024, Redis acquired SpeedDB, a company at the forefront of developing SSDs as a data store. This sets the stage for some exciting flash memory innovation, easily one of the things I'm most hyped about heading into 2025. We added support for JSON, Search, and Query for ActiveActive, the ability to geo-replicate data globally and keep five minds uptime. In April, you met our new brand and brought Redis.com and Redis.io together with a unified redesign. Redis made a licensing change that got a lot of people talking. But here's what it really means. It stops cloud providers from reselling our latest code. Redis Community Edition is still open and still free, as always. We launched Redis Release globally, starting in Bengaluru on August 23rd, then heading to Singapore, London, and wrapping it up in New York City, where we introduced our summer release packed with updates and new products, including Redis 8 brought a ton of features our customers love from Redis Software and Redis Cloud into the Community Edition, like JSON support, the Redis Query Engine for full text and vector search, and much more. A highly requested update was adding Hash Expiration, or TTL, a Redis Community Edition feature, client-side caching, was added to one of our enterprise products, Redis Software. The general availability of Redis data integration, which probably made the most noise for us this year, it's a no-code tool that lets you sync data from external databases to Redis in real time. Redis Copilot was added to Redis Insight, not just another chatbot, but a Redis assistant that knows your Redis data. We launched the enhanced Redis Query Engine it delivers 16 times faster query throughput and puts Redis ahead of any other vector database. We combined all of our AI capabilities and services into Redis for AI. Everything from RAG with vector search to LLMs, an agentic memory, semantic caching, feature store, and more. Then on November 19th, we announced Azure Managed Redis or AMR at Microsoft Ignite. It's the first licensed multi-tiered Redis service offered by a major cloud provider giving Azure customers even more ways to use Redis. Last but not least, the creator of Redis, Salvatore Sanfilippo, made his return to Redis on December 10th as an evangelist. His return marks the start of an exciting new chapter for Redis. We're looking forward to new ideas and innovations to come. That's a wrap on 2024. Redis kept things fast, bold, and innovative all year long, and we're looking forward to 2025. And there's a lot we couldn't fit in, in here, so Stick around for my what's new in two for the rest. We'll see you in the new year.